Hello, okay, so this is just a very quick tutorial on how to write a very simple drum beat in Sibelius, just a very simple drum pattern. Okay, so I'm in Sibelius 7, but it should work pretty much the same on any version of Sibelius. I've got a treble staff at the moment, uh, but uh, I want a percussion staff uh, drum set would be good. So I'm going to press I to bring up the instruments list and have a drum set. And I'll get rid of this treble staff, I don't really want that there. Okay, so, and here's my drum set with my little percussions left, just there. So, I'm going to start off with my hi-hat. Now, to input the hi-hat, it's going to look a bit like a G at the top there, if you were in treble clef. So, I'm going to have a little hi-hat pattern, just quavers, very, very simple and straightforward, just one bar, because then we can always repeat it. It won't sound like anything at the moment. If you play it back, you'll hear nothing. To make it sound like a hi-hat, you need to change the note heads to X note heads. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. The first way is to select the whole bar by clicking the bar but not on the note, and go to the Notations tab at the top, go to the Note Head Type just here, and select Cross Note Heads. It turns them into cross note heads for you. And from there, it, they will all sound like hi-hats, which is quite nice. As always, there's a quicker way of doing this, which is with the keyboard shortcuts. If you look on this menu item here, it says Alt Shift 1. I can use that, and it will save us a lot of time in the future for the more keyboard shortcuts you remember. So if I go Alt Shift 1, then they've changed to X note heads. Okay, so that's a hi hat line done on the on our top G X note heads. Now we want some bass drum and snare drum. So I'm going to click crotchets, but these want to be in voice two, so they don't overlap our hi-hat line and separate them so they look nice and neat. So our bass drum will be down here on what looks like a low E line, if you were in treble clef again, and our snare drum is on what looks like the note C. So I'm just going to repeat that again, um, and I'll get another snare drum. And there we go, so we've got a nice simple drum beat there. <coughs> and we can repeat that as many times as we like. Let's click in the bar, press R, and we've got four bars of it. Feel free to make this pattern more complicated as you wish by adding extra quavers or semi quavers or changing the pattern to just make it your own. Just leave it simple. Okay. Thank you very much.